Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mole for Wednesday, the 9th of February. Following Robert Murray McShane's reading scheme, today one of the chapters we read was Romans chapter 12. And I was struck by the second verse where Paul writes, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. That struck me. As Christians, we're called to be non-conformist. If you're a Christian, we don't actually fit in. We'll be part of this world, but as Jesus says, you'll be in the world, but not of the world. And that, that, that's a challenge that we need to, to um, take on board. We will be different from other people. If our minds are transformed, are renewed by Christ, um, we will see things differently to the people around about us. We will have a different value system, simply because our values are the values that God gives us, not the values that the world lives by. Um, we will love people that the world won't love. We will, we will be different. Now, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a, a knife-edge kind of challenge, because you don't want to be so completely different that you just don't fit in and nobody takes you seriously. Everybody, oh, it's just them again. They're weird. And everybody just completely ignores you. You can say what you like. Well, you're just weird. We, we don't listen to you. Um, because if we live like that, we can't witness to the gospel. We can't. But if we're exactly the same as everybody, and they see us, oh, yes, you're Christian, but you're no different to us. You, you're exactly the same as us. We also can't witness to the gospel because why would they listen to us? So we need to be part of the world, but not fully conform to the world. People need to be able to relate to us, but at the same time have a slight challenge as well. Um, and so we need to uh, make peace with the fact that in this world, in this life, we're not going to conform. We're not going to fit in completely. We're always going to be just that little bit of an outsider. Um, but that's because in this world, we're conformed to Christ. We're shaped by him. We are children of God in a godless world. Therefore, we're different. So be challenged by that. Be encouraged by that. Um, and be prepared to reach out like that when people see the difference. We need to be able to say what it is, that it is God shaping us, that it is God transforming our thinking, our, our attitudes, our relations, our, our love. We're Christians. We're different. Be encouraged.